Today's lab is es estimating population size. And for today's lab, well, the purpose of today's lab is because scientists practically can't just go out there and count every single deer or every single fish in a lake. So what they do instead is they capture and mark and then release and use math with that to guess how big a population is in an area. So today you'll get a bag of full of beans and there's a bag number on it and that will be very important later. And so in this bag there are light colored beans, like white or light colored beans that will that aren't like captured, like they'll represent stuff that is not tagged. And then in the bag there are dark colored beans and those are um, animals or creatures or whatever that was tagged. And there's 10 of these colored beans in there. And so what you'll do for this one is you'll shake up the bag and you'll randomly pick out an animal. So don't look at it as you're pulling it out and just grab a handful and pull it out. And you'll just count how many is in there. And in this one there was, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eight, nineteen, twenty. Okay, so the number captured will be twenty, and the number recaptured with the tag will be one. And the numbers are these numbers because there's twenty beans total, and then the the there's only one bound bead, but make sure you include the bound bead and the white bead numbers in the number captured. And then after you do that once, you'll take out all you'll grab all these beans that you took out and you'll Put them in the bag and then you shake up the bag. And then after you shake up the bag, just take out another random handful and just count how many were in those and then record it again. And so in this one, there was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, There's 26. And then there is just one recaptured with the tag. And then you'll just keep pulling them out, counting them, and putting them back in until you've done that 20 times. Okay, so we have a student who did that for us, already done, and so what she did is she took, you at the end, what you'll need to do is add up the total number captured, and then the total number recaptured with the tag after you've done your 20 trials. And then, after that, we will use that data to do math, and then this is the one math question we will use is the population estimate, and that's the total number of beans you captured times the number tag divided by the total number recaptured and tagged. Oh, and the number tag is 10 because there's 10 brown beans in there. And so that's what you do. And so with the student, we actually had a student done. And so what happened is she added up all the total number, all, all the number captured, and it was 232 times it by the 10, which was the 10 brown beans in the back, divided it by the total number recaptured in the back, and that ended up being 45. Like, that's what she guessed the population size was. And so after you get your guess of population size, go look at your bag again for the number, and then go ask your teacher what, like, ask him, tell him your number, and then he'll tell you how much it was in there. And so then we use that data again for this. So we do that. This is, now you're going to use that for the percent, um, estimate, like, how much you were off percent-wise. And so you do the estimated size, like the size you figured out there, minus the actual size, which in this one was 52, and then you'll divide that by the actual size, which in this one was 52, and times it by 100. And here's that again, the estimated size minus the actual size, divided by the actual size times 100, which this one was about 13.5, and that was percent error. And then after you're done with that, don't forget with every lab you should do to fill out the laboratory report, and don't forget to put your name, period, date, and all the stuff that go on this paper.